Well, hello there, the friends. This is Diamond from Diamond Shine Soap. Guys, I'm excited to see you today. Today, we're going to be making some room in linen spray. Now, I made a room spray probably a few weeks ago, uh, and it's room and body spray. And guys, you guys took all of the product. We could not get it. We did it with a base. So it's just definitely different than what we're doing right now. If you want the entire recipe, you can find it on my Patreon. It's linked in the description box along. And when you go to the Patreon, listen, y'all, y'all gonna find so many candle making recipes, skincare recipes. It's only $10 a month, you name it. It is really, really, really cool. Uh, we probably started about, what, like two months ago and we got about 235 members today, which is always going up and changing. Anyway, guys, this room spray that we're going to be making is going to be um, made from distilled water. Uh, we're going to use some fragrance. We're going to use some polysorbit 20. And we're going to use a preservative, okay? All right, so this is a very simple recipe. I just wanted to make it for you guys because sometimes people be like, there's no video. I'm like, this is so simple. Why do you need a video with everything? Anyway, I made it for y'all people that do that. All right, so let's go ahead and start um, putting everything in here and mixing together so you guys can kind of see it. It's going to be really fast, okay? All right, so the first thing we're going to do is because this particular recipe is the jar water is so much water in here we're gonna go ahead and put our water into our beaker okay so we added our water the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add our poly 20. Now the reason why we're using poly 20 um, is because you need something to combine oil and water because remember oil and water do not mix. So you need something to combine the two. So this is why um, we are using poly 20. Okay. So you're going to follow this recipe to exact. If you go and you try to do some stuff like add more um, oil to it, like, oh, I just want to make it stronger. It's not going to bind. Okay. And don't come in Patreon I'm talking about this is not working or whatever the case may be and you know you changed the recipe because you guys do that a lot and I'm like no the recipe work I know for sure because I use it all the time what did you change okay all right so I'm gonna get off of that because y'all know that's my little venting moment okay all right so let's go ahead and we're gonna put our poly 20 into this mix Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my preservative. And we're just using 1% preservative, okay? All right, all right. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add our fragrance. Okay, so now the reason why I use this particular beaker is because I wanted you guys to be able to see um, how it looked before you stir it. There's going to be oil on the top because it, you know, the poly is on the bottom and there's going to be water in the middle. And when you begin to stir it, it must bind, guys. And if it don't bind, then we know that there is a problem. So let's go ahead and stir it. And you just want to go ahead and just give it that nice stir. Just, just get it from all in the bottom. Just make sure you're getting all that poly 20 out the bottom. Me, I'm doing like a little tornado stir. So everything is just coming together and it's, you know, really fast. If you're using one of these beakers, it's, it's really good because you can see uh, what is actually going on on the inside of it, okay? So there's no mystery. <laughs> All right. All right. So when you finish stirring, you should begin to see everything coming together. Now, this is the tricky part. I want you to leave it sitting for about 30 minutes just to make sure everything is fully combined because you want to make sure that that oil don't just sit on the top 
and um, you know the water in the middle. You want to make sure everything is combined. It. So we're just going to give it some time and let it sit and settle, and we're going to come back to it. We're going to put it inside of our bottles. Okay, so all right now, guys, you can use a nice amber, or you can get a white container to put this in or silver you know i will definitely leave you guys some links in patreon so you can be able to find some bottles now the thing to expect from this particular recipe is expect that it won't come out clear okay it will be cloudy and that is okay you know you can color it if you want to take a little bit of mica and put it inside you could definitely color it and that will be fine um and or you can just leave it the way it is i'm going to leave it the way it is and i'm actually going to put it in a clear bottle because i want you guys to be able to see this so um this is the end result this is called a linen and room spray okay a linen and room spray so we're going to go ahead and put this into some cute little bottles and um that's it okay so i have me some cute little bottles um, I actually have an, another color that's green, so I just want went ahead and washed them out, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pour some of this into a bottle. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just fill it up a little bit more and just bring it all the way up to the neck. All right, there we go. That's nice and full. And I got one more bottle to fill up after this. And these are four ounce bottles, by the way, okay? Um, this recipe is much cheaper to make than when you buy the base. The base is really expensive. Um, so this is a really inexpensive uh, recipe because we're using a whole lot of water and we know water is cheap. <laughs> we know that for sure. Okay, guys, so I just wanna give you a few tips uh, concerning this room and linen spray. First of all, you wanna make sure that you give it a nice, um, now I got about, what was it? Eight, eight two ounce bottles out of this particular recipe, but I use some four ounce bottles. Um, you know, so you're gonna get more if you use a two ounce bottle. Um, second of all, this is a very inexpensive recipe to make. Um, third of all, not all, all fragrances will combine. Not all fragrances will combine um, perfectly. So you may see a little bit of a white um, shadow inside of your body, in, well, not body, um, room and linen spray, just a little bit. And if you see that, you'll just have to shake it up a little bit and then use it. But ultimately it's really not bad at all definitely not bad it's not now if you see half of it is white and the other half is um you know this color then we have a problem okay but these are really good this is a very good recipe guys i have no complaints out of it no complaints at all i actually like it now obviously i'm using these bottles because i want you guys to be able to see exactly what it looked like um the recipe inside the bottles you should go with aluminum just so you won't have to see anything like the cloudiness or anything like that go with aluminum or white plastic or black you know any of those will do okay so this is one of those shake um well recipes before you use it it will not be much separation but i wanted you guys to be able to see how much separation you will see in the recipe in the recipe um just this little bit right here this little bit of white um that's just a little tiny bit of separation i'm gonna show you in this green bottle because you can see it a little bit better but like right here that's just a tiny bit of separation so if you use a darker bottle you won't see that and it's nothing that's really too noticeable you know i remember the most time. important part of this recipe is the preservative so make sure you use germal plus that's a good one and you could just kind of look up some room spray um preservatives as well anyway guys i'm not going to hold you up i hope you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumb up hit subscribe and i will see you back again for the next one all right